at the foothills of the Kahili Range is the town of Kalaheo. To the left of us, Kalaheo overlooks a large coffee plantation down at the water's edge. Last year, uh, they harvested three and a half million pounds of coffee beans. Five times as much as the more famous Kona coffee plantation out on the Big Island. Not that we're jealous of them or anything like that. I understand they make a fairly decent cup of coffee out there on the Big Island. But we'd like you to switch your allegiance, or at least give us a shot at it. They've got a visitor center down there. Drop in and they'll fill you up with free samples in the tasting room. Largest coffee plantation in America today is called Kauai Coffee Company. Back to the right, there's a flat spot in the mountains. The plateau here does not allow rainwater to escape, so that's created a swamp. Kana Ele Bog, one of several swamps you'll see on your flight today. You're staying on the wettest of the eight major Hawaiian islands. We get a lot of rainy days throughout the year. It's okay, that's how Kauai gets to be a garden island. Alexander Reservoir to the left of us. It's a checkpoint as we make our way into Hanapepe Valley. And you get a real different view depending on which direction you look in the valley. To the left of us, sunshine at the town of Hanapepe. To the right of us, Mount Waiali Ali is famous for being the wettest spot on earth, so it doesn't get quite so many sunny days. There's rain on the window now, but with its frequent and abundant raindrops, it does make some very nice waterfalls that are waiting for us just around the corner. Swing back to the right. Or look at Kahili Falls. Kalai Falls. And there's also a big one at the bend in the river that I think some of you will recognize. If you're like me and you enjoy a good movie every now and then, uh, particularly the kind of movie where numerous individuals get devoured by carnivorous dinosaurs, yeah, who doesn't enjoy that sort of thing, right? Rent the first Jurassic Park movie and you'll see Mana White Opuna Falls. You'll notice too that uh, Mana White Puna has lots of company. More waterfalls upstream, downstream, cross stream. The natural scenery of Kauai looks like a Hollywood movie set. I think that's why Hollywood keeps coming back here year after year to make their movies. I would, if I was a Hollywood director. All right, everybody, pack your things. We're going to Kauai. Yeah, but Mr. Director, we're uh, filming a Western. I don't care. Pack your things. We're still going to Kauai. <laughs> Brother's tapping me on the shoulder saying, I don't have a good view of the waterfall. Yeah, I know it's kind of a steep and narrow canyon, but the view that I'm giving you is trying to maximize all the different waterfalls out here. And here's something to consider. We actually could do a pretty good western on the western side of our island. Beyond the Kahili Mountains, average annual rainfall drops off by 90%. Wow, that's going to make a pretty big change in scenery, as we're about to discover. Checking in with another tour copter who's entering the valley. Just do you see me? Yeah, I see you out there. Anyway, usually when you're flying to the west side of the island, you're leaving cloudy skies and raindrops behind, and you're heading towards blue skies and sunshine.
And what else can we find out on the west side of the island other than very nice weather? Uh, actually, not that much. There's a couple of towns out there. The first one is called Waimea, and that's a name we'll be hearing again very soon. Followed by Kikaha, whose Hawaiian name means the hot and dry place. Both of them face the island of Niiha, 17 miles across the Kaolakahi Channel. That's our nearest neighbor in the Pacific. Oh yeah, and there's one other thing out here. Called Waimea Canyon. Except when we're trying to impress you. Then it's called the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. Whatever you do call it, uh, there's a big change in scenery that occurs when you go from windward Kauai to leeward Kauai. Across the canyon is another cloud-covered plateau. That's the water table for the garden island, the Alaka'i Swamp. Covers about 16 square miles of Kauai's interior. So here with one single panoramic view, you can now take in the wettest spot on Earth, the world's highest elevation swamp, and the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. The truth is, there's always something beautiful to see every time you turn a corner on the Garden Island. And it's for views like this that uh, basically everybody who comes to Kauai takes a helicopter ride. How else are you going to see something like this? I'll leave the rainy side of the island behind for a while and explore the sunny side. The main river of Leeward Kauai is in the valley in front of us. Waimea, River of Red Waters. Follow that one back to the coast, and you can see where it flows by the town of Waimea. On its way to the Pacific. And it's just a few miles down the road to Kikaha, the hot and dry place. Well, we've been flying through rain for the last few minutes, but a single glance at that parched red dirt down below should convince you that you're now on the hot and dry side of the island. Here on the dry side of the island, you can usually find a few waterfalls. You know where to look. A good place to look is back by the swamp. To the right of us, there's a little waterfall slipping out of the swamp this morning. There's a second waterfall down below to the left, slide into the canyon. Straight ahead is the third waterfall just over the ridge line. In addition to the nice waterfalls, there's a pattern of vertical grooves scratched into the red dirt here. Kauai is the oldest of the eight major Hawaiian islands. Fly around Waimea and you will see many signs of erosion surrounding you here in Canyon Country. Compare that to a pattern of 